Yo, what's going on guys? Nashra here, back with another video, and I know we don't do these sit down and talk videos very often, but unfortunately, this has to be said. Also, before we get into this thing, yeah, this is kind of a new background for you guys. I moved a lot of my office from downstairs in the basement up to here. It's just kind of a nicer, chill environment, but it is still a work in progress, and there's a ton of echo that you could probably hear, so just wanted to give you a heads up on that. Anyways, let's get into this video. You guys know probably one of my favorite type of videos to upload is GoPro Hockey. I kind of revamped my channel after taking a bit of break from playing NHL and jumped right into GoPro Roller Hockey, which is how this all began. GoPro Roller Hockey was a huge success. You guys loved it. And then they tore our roller rink down, which was one of the saddest moments of my life. So since we didn't have indoor roller hockey anymore, I started to move into making ice hockey videos, which from the beginning, if you guys remember, that caused a lot of issues. Roll the clip. Go pro's got to go, man. Can't let it slide one game? Nope. Safety has You go head first into the boards, that's going to go right through your skull. No good. No good. My first ever game attempting to wear the GoPro, I had worn it just like this, on top of my helmet with a nice little mount. At first I wasn't too happy with the explanation. They said that this could go through my skull, like if I went to the board weird, or maybe it could injure other players. I started to accept that though, you know, it's, it's fair, rules are rules, we shouldn't wear the GoPro. But then I started thinking to myself, maybe the issue isn't so much the GoPro, but the GoPro setup. So that is when I developed this contraption. A lot of you guys, especially if you're newer here, probably haven't seen this. I think I've only showed it once on my channel. This is how I got away with wearing a GoPro in my men's leagues. I cut a hole right here in the center of my helmet. Then you just take the GoPro, sneak it in the top, and the lens barely sticks out with the GoPro pressed up against your forehead. At least in my mind, while this was kind of bending the rules, I thought this addressed all of their concerns. The only person that could possibly be injured from this setup is me, and that's my own liability that I'm willing to risk. Obviously, I do not recommend cutting a hole in your helmet. Helmets are made a certain way for a certain reason, but for me and for my YouTube channel, I thought it was worth it, and the chance of me getting injured in a no-contact beer league, pretty low. So I went about my business with this hidden helmet cam for almost an entire year playing two times every single night. The refs never said anything, the other team never said anything, everyone was cool with it. Actually, I take that back. There were probably two times in the entire year where a ref came up to me and he was like, hey, the other team doesn't want to be recorded, do you mind taking the GoPro off? I was always respectful and if the other team didn't want to be recorded, I'd simply take the GoPro off, put it on the bench, and, and that would be that. I think my GoPro videos almost got too big and the league commissioner started to take notice and he was upset that I had kind of like hidden the camera from the refs and from everyone else. The commissioner sent me an email basically just laying out the USA hockey rules which say you cannot have a GoPro, you can't modify your helmet, you can't even have a camera anywhere on the ice surface or mounted on the boards. Just to clarify, I've got nothing against the league commissioner. He obviously is a representative for USA hockey and that's what his league is so he has to follow their rules. So I totally understand where he's coming from. He sent that email and Unfortunately, it was like one week into our first playoff game and I had started the playoff series on YouTube, so I was like, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of low-key ignore that email for the next couple weeks just so we can finish up playoffs and then we'll figure it out from there. I went into the first game after that email, wore my GoPro like normal and, and the refs didn't even say anything. So I thought I was in the clear. I thought it was more just like he kind of had to say that but didn't really mean it. And we just kept rolling with the playoffs as usual. But then I got cheap shotted with the dirty hit in a no contact beer league. Roll the clip. smashed it, it got like 100,000 views in five days, and I'm sure the league 
commissioner was one of those views as well. Luckily, I waited a week until after our championship to upload that game, because right after I uploaded it, the commissioner said to me, if you keep using your GoPro during our games, you will be ejected and suspended from playing in the league. The hammer! And again, nothing against him. He's got a job to do. I think the videos just gained a little bit too much traction. So I had to let you guys know kind of what's going down. I went to the next game completely prepared. I brought this helmet, just wore it like normal without the GoPro. The refs came up to me and said I had to go get a different helmet because of the hole in here. So I went and grabbed this helmet and then they saw that I still had the GoPro mount on it. So they made me use a screwdriver, literally a screwdriver to get the GoPro mount off so that I would have a USA Hockey legal helmet. At this point, I can't even have this little piece of plastic without getting yelled at, so I think this is gonna be the end of GoPro Ice Hockey for the time being, which is really, really sad. I know a lot of you guys will probably start wondering kind of what happened to the GoPro Ice Hockey videos, because there's gonna be a long period of time where I'm not able to upload them, so I wanted to be completely honest with you guys and kind of let you know what was going down. This isn't a shot at the league, the commission, or anything like that. I just wanted to be honest with you guys and also kind of speak out to USA Hockey a little bit since they're still running the same GoPro rules that they've had since like 2012. I think GoPros and cameras on the ice are a very, very good tool not only for entertainment purposes to kind of get people into the game, but also once you are playing, if you're recording yourself on the ice every single day, it makes a huge difference in learning and development and getting better by seeing yourself and the mistakes that you're making and how you can improve. It's 2018, man. Cameras are getting smaller. The quality is getting better. Mounts are getting safer. I think it's time to make some changes to the USA Hockey rules. All this to say, I know this was kind of a long rant and a story video for you guys. Thank you for sticking around till the end and for all of your endless support. For real, it means the world to me. Don't you worry, though. GoPro Hockey is far from over. The good thing is summer is just around the corner, which means GoPro Roller Hockey is going to be starting up. And personally, GoPro roller hockey are some of my favorite videos. We've got a league coming up. We're going to be traveling for some tournaments and also I'll still be able to get on the ice during like drop-ins or if we go to some tournaments. Unfortunately, I just won't be able to upload the league games, which is usually what I upload on the ice. As a little tribute or rest in peace to our GoPro Hockey League videos, I'm going to go ahead and put together a little montage of some of our best clips from the last session. So I hope you guys enjoy that little tribute. For real, you guys are the best fans out there. Thank you so much for the endless love and support. This is not the end, but a new beginning. GoPro Hockey Video is going to be back stronger than ever, and I'm looking forward to uploading it for you guys. I've been brainstorming some pretty big video ideas that I can't wait to show you guys, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the clips, and I'll talk to you on Friday. Peace!
buddy. No. You got to give that to him. Let's go, Johnny. We're a fish. We're going fast.